That's a good transition because we, we're going to talk regress or impress with uh, one of last year's my guys that chose to torture me with his butterfingers, and that is Chris Carson, who ended the year at RB11. There's nothing to be ashamed of. but He had a great year. Yeah, and, and you know what? It was, it was something where every time he touched the football, you were impressed with Chris Carson. Uh, you know, 47 targets, 37 receptions, almost 300 carries on the ground, looked great, struggled with fumbles. He's a regress for me. Mm. And, and that is not to say that Chris Carson can't have some solid fantasy value, but I have him down at RB17, I believe. Finished last year at RB11. I would be absolutely shocked if Seattle doesn't add another back to this uh, running back room. And so with Carson, Penny, probably a shorter leash with the fumble variable this year if they have another back in that room, I am simply not confident that you could count on Carson as an RB1 for fantasy. Yeah, you bring up the running back room, and I think that is that's and there are Marshawn the, rumors, by the way. <laughs> right, I know Marshawn's his agent has been in contact with the Seahawks about coming back again. Um, the pessimism, which is very rare, uh, coming from Pete Carroll over Rashad Penny. Yeah, um, you know everybody, everybody who's ever been injured is totally fine if you're Pete Carroll, and yes. they look great. And they're ready to go. And now he's talking about starting him on the pup to begin the season. You know, it was a late injury. It wasn't just a normal ACL tear uh, for Rashad Penny. So when I look at that room, I mean, they drafted a fourth round DJ Dallas. Okay. Uh, Travis Homer is nothing. Uh, you know, it's it's like, I feel like Chris Carson, I've got him right now as a running back one. You have him I've as a last him. man standing situation. I've got him as a, he's got to have 300 carries because they <laughs> don't have any other choice and so but i if would they adjust go my out, rank significantly if this is the room this is the running back room they go into the season with ex no doubt. exactly so you know if if marshawn is signed if if carlos hyde or some other back comes in then that that's telling name you, somebody you know, slower than those <laughs> right that that you know and i would i would i would also append to this chris carson is a i feel like is a very big injury risk um he he didn't miss he missed one game last year but he has, in his history, been injured. He's injured right now, right? He's not. He's yeah. he's, he's on pace. He's coming off of a, a fractured hip. Yeah, I mean, he's he's he hasn't missed the games, but he's still been injured. And the way he runs is like injure me, please. So I, you know, odds say that he will regress, um, just because of uh, you know I, I I you know injury and um, you know the the uh, potential of bringing in someone else. But as it stands right now, I've still got him as an RB1, getting a lot of volume uh, for a really good offense. I will say I, we were I was joking about betting against Marshawn Lynch. If he's signed to Seattle, I'm not very concerned. Like, do you guys really – you think Marshawn still has it? They No, it doesn't matter, though. It doesn't matter if he has it because he's got the eyeballs of, of Pete Carroll. And the Pete Carroll will put a player out there. He doesn't care if – he is at his best if he fits the offense and what they want to do. I think that Marshawn will represent a huge goal line hit to Chris mm -hmm. Carson and then, you know, establish the play action for, for Russell. Yeah, and, and Chris Carson is, you know, up in my RB1 because he's a 300 carry back right now. Marshawn Lynch comes in. It's just one of those things where it's like, okay, now that there's an, there's an option to not give Chris Carson 300 carries. So, yeah. And that, yeah. That, that 300 translated to running back 11 last year. Right. Yeah, I am unfortunately I I have to hedge here because I it, it, Chris Carson is completely a waiting game if you're playing like best ball. Oh yeah. Right now. Yeah, yeah. So like if I had to make the decision right now, yeah, what's your bet? I would probably go in on him. Uh I don't know where his ADP is in best ball right now. I would probably go in on Chris Carson, but this is a situation that needs to materialize o over the over the off season. If Marshawn was the addition, you're less concerned than maybe we are? Correct. Okay. Get Zooks! You made it to the end of the video. Congratulations. If you want to see more, click that subscribe button.